Om Shanti. Welcome, we have in 19th of October is called Blessing. Karma philosophy is a very deeper philosophy. We think that we can generally move away from, from a place, we can move away from a person, we can leave the job, we can leave the person, we can divorce, we can move out, we can um, break up and all and everything will be okay, fine. No, karma philosophy is very deep. That person's thoughts, that situation, the instance, the complete scenario will keep on repeating in your mind because of certain laws of karma and that's what we're going to learn over here. So God says, may you move along while recognizing the philosophy of karma. Move along. God is saying, move along. God is not saying that you get stuck. He is saying you move along while recognizing the philosophy of karma as an embodiment of knowledge and become free from any bondage of karma. Now, bondage of karma, how does it happen? We'll understand that also. Some children become forceful and put aside everything. That means they move away from a relationship, they stop talking, they stop... Uh, thinking about that person, they even change the place, they even change the path which they take, the road which they take, the car in which they go, the same conveyance if they take, they'll move out. So they become too staunch or they, let's say too hard on themselves. And in a simple word, they move away and become detached with their bodies, but because they are still some karmic counts in their mind, there is a pull. They become detached with their bodies. Okay, I have got nothing to take from this person, I've got nothing to do with this person, no financial give and take, nothing. But still some karmic accounts are there in their mind. Why? Because there is a pull, their intellects are pulled. Because we have certain negative thoughts or we've got revengeful thoughts or we've got ego within us and we are thinking of taking revenge or we're thinking, or even if you're talking about that person, that that person did something to me like this, they are like this, they are like that. This becomes a big obstacle. Therefore, even if you want to move away from anyone, first of all, have it verified by an instrument soul because this is the karma philosophy of karma so there are uh, elderly sisters in Brahma Kamaris, the seniors who know about how to handle relationships and they've gone through a lot so you can go to them you can take counseling from them that what should I do in this situation this person is like this or this situation is like this and without a person there's no situation right when you break away forcefully your mind is pulled to it again and again if you forcefully break a relationship, you forcefully move out of a uh, contract, you forcefully do things in life, then it, it sends ripples around and those ripples again come back. So how do they come back? By memory, by remembrance, by sleepless nights, by having dreams and so many other things. So recognize the philosophy of karma as an embodiment of knowledge and have it verified. By whom? By a senior sister at Brahma Kumaris, you will then easily become free from any bondage of karma then it will be easy to face situations, it will be easy to be lighter in the mind and move along as God said. Not get stuck, move along. So what kind of feeling should we have or towards that situation, towards that person so that we become lighter, we don't keep on sending negative vibrations, it's negative, uh, negative energies to that person because karma is going to come back to us. So it's important to learn how do we nullify it and that's what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. Do take a session with Brahma Kumaris. I'm Shanti.